Hey, hey, folks. Dan Finity here. Uh, welcome to vlog number two for the Double Down. Uh, I hope that this finds you well. I've been feeling much better uh, over the past couple of months. Um, I went and saw a doctor, and he was like, hey, what's all this about your GERD stuff? And so we got some of that figured out. Been feeling a lot better. You probably see me be a little bit more relaxed on the stream um, for uh, the past couple of months. Uh, at least in that way. Yeah. So I'm feeling much better physically. Uh, I've changed a lot of my diet, uh, doing a lot more exercise and everything. And also I think uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe taking on a little bit more stress because uh, Jenny and I are getting married this year. And so we are currently in the final stages of getting all those things planned and together. And, uh, we have a pretty good idea of a lot of things. Some things we still need to get details on. That's probably going to be the project over the next month. And then, um, they, then yeah, in September we're getting married. I'm pretty excited about it. It's something that we've been looking forward to doing, uh, for 12 years now we've been together for 12 years. Yeah. I'm just, I'm excited to marry my best friend is the big thing there. So we're in the thick of planning all that. Wow. All of this has been going on. Uh, there were a few other things that happened. The launch of Destiny 2, The Final Shape. And it's a game that I enjoy. Uh, Destiny 2 has always been a game that I enjoy. I enjoyed the DLC. I'm not really connecting all that much to the episode content. And for the past month, I really haven't done like a Destiny Digest episode of the show. Because I've not... I felt like I haven't had a lot of time. On top of that, uh, I haven't really felt super inspired to talk about the game. Um, outside of it just being a video game. And because of that... I've also felt kind of a, a loneliness in the space. Uh, I haven't really been creating content around Destiny 2 other than streams. And that has also like had me pull back a little bit from the Destiny 2 community. It, it, it's felt a little weird just over the past couple of months. So I've been trying to reacclimate myself. I'm trying to look at the game with different eyes. Not so much like critical eyes. Or, hey, this is me creating content for this thing. It's like I, I'm just trying to focus on the fun of it uh, when, I'm, when I'm in there. Sure, there are some chores. I think my critique of the new uh, space still kind of lends credence to the whole loneliness thing. It does feel lonely in there uh, unless you hop into like some of the matchmaking things. I haven't really done that a lot in my offline time uh, with friends. But, yeah, just feeling, still feeling a little disconnected there. When it comes to Destiny Digest, I've been looking for a way to um, reinvigorate my interest in it. And I think that part of that, too, will alleviate some of the loneliness that I feel uh, in this space. I've invited several creators to collaborate with me on it. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that it is worth people's time and something that isn't just on my channels, but also on theirs. Uh, so working through the details of that and working on the details of who is going to participate in that uh, has been a little bit of a, a side quest over the past couple of months. I think I have some really awesome folks to share the, the mic with, and I am eagerly anticipating seeing how you guys react to, to the group. I think it'll be interesting. I think you guys are going to like uh, the change of the show. It will change to more of a panel show and less of a curated uh, kind of interview show. It will be a weekly news show. Um, but the people that I have involved, I think, are some of the best in the community, some of the best in Destiny 2 content creation right now, too. So uh, that will be returning soon. I need to get dates to them. I also need to uh, get a few other things to them as well to finalize the overall deal on that. So Destiny Digest will be returning. I'm sorry for the long hiatus. What I'm not di feeling disconnected about is uh, that passively, we raised $849 for the Bungie Foundation during their latest Bungie Day celebration. And thanks to everybody who donated to that. I'll be getting fundraiser rolls out to everybody in the Discord who contributed to that sum. We didn't really do a lot outside of like, hey, Bungie Foundation is offering emblems and they're offering a ghost and a shader for this. I didn't really push that a lot um, over the past month because I just really haven't had time to prepare anything. Um, 
looking forward, the next charity event that we'll be doing is on November 19th, 2024. That is a Tuesday. And that will be the, uh, the huge feeding frenzy campaign for second helpings. I'm moving it up from the end of December to right before Thanksgiving. Cause I feel like that's when this event will have the most impact. I'm planning things for that. Now I think something that I'm toying around with is maybe getting some recipes from you guys to kind of create a community cookbook that as a digital reward for people who donate. Uh, I think that that would be super neat. Um, something that I still need to work out the details for, but I'm also like putting together other things for that as well for different milestones as well as uh, like giveaways and stuff. So stay tuned for that. Once again, thanks to everybody who contributed to the Bungie foundation. That's huge. This week, I'm also changing my Twitch schedule a little bit. Um, two Thursdays will no longer be raid helps. That's going to be a variety day. It's something that I've desperately needed in my schedule for a while. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been kind of experimenting with it to see how you guys would react. And I'm thankful to everybody who's come through to those streams. I'm thankful to everybody who continues to come through to those streams. Uh, the games that I've been playing over the past couple of weeks, I played a lot of Angerfoot. Devolver sent me a code for Angerfoot. I'm very excited uh, to continue that. Even though I will say the Pizza Pig boss is frustrating me to no end. It has three phases. One phase in which it tries to attack you on this. I'm going to say it's a, a floating pizza crust that he's attacking you on with a, with, a, with a pizza slicer. And you attack him, try to drown him a little bit uh, in the cheese sauce that is surrounding the, the pizza crust. And then the second phase is you're shooting uh, pimples, nipples. I don't know. You're shooting something off of his body. And then uh, the third phase is what frustrates me to no end because you're, you're in a boat. I can't, I don't know if it's tank controls or not. And I think that's throwing me off. Uh, you're in a boat. Uh, the boss is turned into like a spider pig and is climbing around and dropping pigs down uh, that have dynamite attached to their backs. The controls are just really wonky on that. And uh, probably my least favorite part of, of that game. But the rest of that game is fantastic. The music's great. Uh, the just the overall minute to minute action or second to second action really makes you feel like John Wick in this really goofy world in which you're just trying to get your sneakers back. Um, that's been really cool. I've enjoyed that game so far. Uh, and then we're playing Nobody Wants to Die, which is more of a noirish detective kind of feel where you're going through and you're trying to solve the crime of who killed the man who solved immortality. Uh, the little bit that we played last Thursday of that was very good, was very interesting. I'm looking forward to continuing that playthrough uh, over the next week. So that'll be Thursdays. Tuesdays, we'll be moving the raid helps uh, in Destiny 2 up a little bit to about 5 p.m. with Dunes, with Mod Sherpa. And then after that, we'll be doing more reset stuff later in the evening. Tuesdays are kind of tough because unless you're there live the moment that reset hits or even before that, like I'm going to say probably you want to be live two to three hours before that. It's really tough in that directory to get any traction. So Tuesdays will be just kind of changing some things up. We'll still be like hanging out with, with mod and dunes. And this week you guys unlocked the big red button, which I have here. It is, well, it's, it's right here. Uh, you guys unlock the big red button and uh, you'll get to figure out what that is if you have a million points. Um, uh, that's av available starting on Tuesday. I don't know who's going to hit it, um, but good luck to everybody who, um, who isn't Mod Sherpa on that one. So yeah, Sundays will remain the same. We'll still be doing PVE helps all day uh, in the mornings from 9 to, to 1 p.m. And then 1 p.m. we'll be doing raid helps in the afternoons till 5 p.m. It'll still pretty much be the same. Another big change that I'm making uh, more on the community aspect is changing subscriber-only nights to community nights. Um, I feel like that's more inclusive and it welcomes people in. We only do it once a month, and I want to make sure that like we're all just hanging out together and playing games. I know we bonded over Destiny 2, but there are other things, other games that we could be playing together uh, and enjoying our time in. Um, so I'm really going to push for more party games 
on those community nights. For subscribers, I'm currently working on uh, finalizing a few details for, for things like merch giveaways. If you're a subscriber for that month, uh, I feel like, and, and you participate in community night, I feel like that's, that's a good incentive. But I just like hanging out with you guys anyway. So uh, there's that. Look at my notes. Oh, another thing that you're going to see from me this week is uh, I received the Stream Deck Plus XLR dock uh, from Elgato. Uh, I installed it last week, and my review will be coming out of it this week. Um, so stay tuned to the YouTube channel for that. It's an interesting device. Uh, be sure to watch my review. Uh, I want to wrap this up by sharing something that has kind of um, helped me on my journey uh, to getting a little bit better physically and a little bit better mentally um, has been this book, Illness is the Key uh, by Ryan Holiday. I got this from my local library. I'm about halfway through. It is a very interesting book. Ryan Holiday is the guy behind the Daily Stoic Instagram posts. I know it's a very duty thing. Uh, to be into the Stoics as of late. Um, but I've been finding it super helpful uh, to me in how I engage with situations um, when maybe I haven't felt my best. Like maybe if you're dealing with audio issues or something along those lines, maybe not getting as frustrated and, and trying to center myself and trying to find a stillness point. It's also helped me deal with a lot of stress um, that has come with uh, helping to plan the wedding with Jenny. Uh, it's just a, a really good book. I highly recommend it to anybody. Um, it is only like 240 pages. It's a very easy read. Um, your local library probably has it. And as you know, I'm a huge fan of the local libraries. Uh, so go check this out. Uh, Stillness is the Key by Ryan Holiday. Very, very insightful. Very easy to read. Highly recommend it to anybody. Thank you so much for listening to me rant. Thanks so much for, for wanting to hear this little update. Uh, you can find me on the Twitter and the Instagram and the TikTok and wherever at Danfinity GG. You can also find me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Danfinity uh, on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Keep an eye out for Destiny Digest in the next couple of weeks. And with all that said, I hope you find what you're grinding for.